beloved one, I hope you are doing well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed son. Stay blessed. Praise the Lord. Very quickly before I get into the word, we have a lot to do tonight. Is um, a miracle and a communion service. So we are going to start with the communion and then afterwards um, we'll just have some time to minister to the sick and to trust the Lord to come in in a mighty way and to lift us up. Um, I pray that I remember to share with us a few things to expect every time you come before God. It's not important to have an expectation. You must know what else can be expected. You can have an expectation that is based on your limited understanding of who God is. But sometimes your horizon needs to be broadened to know what else he can do. So in as much as it's good to have an expectation, you must know that more than my expectation, he is able. The Bible says, now unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, far above all we ask or think. So God's ability is limitless. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There are so many people tonight, I may not want to necessarily interrupt the flow of what God is doing. We'll find some time in the course of the service to just take our time and really, really honor and appreciate everyone. There are people who have traveled from everywhere within and outside this nation and we honor all the men and women of God. I have my dear friends and the ministers of God seated here in front. We'll take our time to really, really celebrate everyone later on. But I want us to just focus on the word and let's trust the Lord to help us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Second Peter chapter 1. We began to deal with this. Second Peter chapter 1. We're reading the first three verses just to establish something for our faith to rest upon. And then we trust God. And whilst we are doing that, please may I request that the communion be set so that we would make it really, really very fast. We'll start from verse 2. Verse 2 and 3. It says, grace and peace. Please look up if you don't have a Bible. Be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Verse 3 according as his divine power stop and let me just buttress on this for the sake of those who are just joining us today we establish the fact that every possibility in the kingdom comes from his divine power that means the active agency that is responsible for results in this kingdom it is not his word it is not faith it is his divine power please understand faith and the word are instruments that convey his divine power that the active ingredient the force behind the performance of god is his divine power 
the bible says his divine power hath given unto us all things that means there is nothing that is outside of the jurisdiction of his divine power to provide are we together so if you are healed the agency that brought that healing is his divine power if you are lifted tonight like you will be it comes from his divine power if god opens a door if he smashes obstacles no matter what it is whatever happens in your life that can only be done by god was sponsored by his divine power are we together now so we're establishing this please get the teaching yesterday the dynamics of the anointing please please get it it is very important that your understanding about how the power of god works is straightened and accurate i shared something yesterday i might repeat a little bit of it this morning or this evening really but then the goal is to get us to solidify our understanding it's a very simple principle but if you do not have it you may never see the power of god at work are we together now yes so his divine power hath given us all lifting all healing all speed all restoration are we together now all energizings all deliverances his divine power because for many years you see from preachers to members to elders in the faith we have not exactly understood the dynamics how the word of god how faith and how the anointing synergizes themselves together to produce a performance in believers so we have those who believe in what they may call the word we have those who believe in what you may call faith we have those who believe in what you call the power of god and none of them is wrong because the results show they must be doing something right are we together now yes the divine power of god is the central working force that bets his ability in the life of people and over their situations the word of god listen like i taught you faith you know comes from the word of god your conviction of it are we together now faith is derived from the word of god that means that god has made several propositions in scripture according to his integrity is a manifesto of what he is able to do are we together now so he's proposing to the saints that for trusting me these are the possibilities that can accrue to your life so it's up to you by the ministry of the holy spirit to come to a point of conviction are we together now when you come to that point of conviction then you are mandated to demonstrate your conviction through an action of obedience the name given to both the conviction and the action you take is faith if you are convicted and do not act in compliance with the condition that makes for that result you have believed but you are not in faith is it simple enough are we together now that means that faith is not only resident within the heart it starts with the heart but there must be a step that is taken to honor your conviction understanding has come to you when you know your role in the equation of your results if you do not know the role you have to play in the equation of your result you do not understand it this is very important but the word of god please listen is the agency by which faith is built it says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god it doesn't necessarily mean just hearing a voice that means that there is a system of interaction with your spirit man when you are exposed to whether the written word or the spoken word if it's the word that comes from god it sustains an ability to rest upon your spirit full of god's convictions the bible is full of his propositions this is what i can do and then you prove it by saying lord i trust you so the word of god itself i'm careful to say this now because i don't want you to make to sound like the word of god is not powerful it is powerful but it is powerful because it is the career and the container of his power are we together now the anointing follows the word of god wherever the word of god goes that's where the anointing goes 
so if the word of god goes in the direction of healing his power goes in the direction of healing if the word of god goes in the direction of lifting his power goes in the direction of lifting but i said something yesterday that i will establish quickly for the purpose of the impartation that would happen later that our limitations or the inability to see the fullness of god's power is caused by two factors yesterday i attempted to establish that number one the nature of the operation of the anointing is that just because you are anointed does not mean everything can be done the anointing works like money are we together now that every level and every dimension has a spiritual price tag the possibilities that can be purchased at that level if you have 10,000 naira, there are certain things you can obtain with that amount are we together now you cannot obtain anything higher than 10,000 so I gave an example yesterday come doctor I gave an example yesterday that if I am a man of God and I have let me use for the purpose of example say hundred thousand naira worth of anointing watch this I hope you understand why my, my example when this gentleman comes to receive from me under God God is limitless his power is limitless the holy spirit is unlimited are we together now but remember the possibilities are according to the power that works not lives in me are we together now then when i pray for this brother father bless him father lift him the level of grace that i have are we together now will scan through this man's life and only solve the problems that are within the grace oh dear i'm just spotting him please let's honor the pastor of second equa here may the lord honor you sir i cannot but honor you thank you surprise surprise thank you god bless you so much sir hallelujah are we together so this man has he's in need of restoration watch this now he's in need of speed he's in need of lifting he's in need of deliverance he's in need of healing he's in need of impartation of a supernatural grace say the gift of the spirit it is only the problem that is within the level of the anointing i have that will be solved he may fall down he may roll under the anointing he will get up with some cases solved and others not solved this is the reason why being anointed once is not enough you must strive to grow in glory because you get to a point where every challenge that is brought is within the level of your grace that's when you become a blessing so the bible says it this way how god anointed jesus you see that now the secret of his going around doing good was not just that he was anointed look at the extent to which he was anointed When you read Isaiah chapter 47, it begins to show us the dimensions of the progressions of the anointing in the life of a person and the possibilities that can happen at every level. Ezekiel the prophet was in a vision and he began to see a river that flowed from the east side of the temple. And then it was to his ankle, then it was to his knee, it was to his loins, and then it was a river. That he could not flow through it and the bible says whatever contacted that river at that level every fish that was dead came alive there are certain conditions and levels of the anointing where certain results are activated all results are not activated at every level if you're with me say amen, amen. this is the reason why the apostles will minister and sometimes they will honestly admit that this level of grace is not at work in their life and they will go and outsource for other dimensions of the spirit to continue from where they've stopped are we together i believe and i am convinced that the sons of skiva had succeeded in some level of deliverance at one point or the other i do not want to believe that was their first trial the level of confidence reveals that they must have gotten some results so they said we adjure you by jesus whom paul preaches and hear the response of the demon jesus i know you see 
in other words the demon is saying i know who i am i'm not stupid i know the level of grace that can get me out here i know that jesus has it i know that paul has it but i don't know where you are standing and you see this is it so if you can if you can't pray for me and get me free then i will pounce on you you see it now it's a it's a big risk to be anointed at a very low level because you will not see the need to press for more of god and then you will believe that just because the anointing is there just like money just because you touch the back of your pocket and there's something there does not mean you have what it takes to purchase the things that you want so this is what we identified as the number one reason why we may not be able to obtain certain results and you know the level of grace and anointing at work in your life by the testimonies that recycle around your life and ministry the testimonies that recycle around your life are a testament they are proof that this is what the grace you have can produce are we together number two we discussed yesterday if you remember very carefully that the second um revelation that we must understand on the dynamics of the anointing is that your understanding is what structures the efficiency of the anointing listen carefully that means that it is not enough to be anointed the dimensions and the possibilities that the anointing produce is where your understanding takes it to i gave you an example yesterday that the anointing is likened to a reservoir of water are we together and your understanding is like the host wherever you channel the water to it will go the pressure and its ability to give life is not in doubt but the various areas that will partake of that water is governed by this host Call your understanding that means listen that means that if all i know is the dimension of god that heals every time i pray for someone the only dimension they will see in their life is healing my understanding will continue to push the anointing to manifest as the healing power of god so if the person is looking for prosperity for instance i will pray for the person but you will find out that he will be healed but not prosper and the reason is because the moment i sustain an understanding of the economic system of god then the power of god can follow that new pathway to heal his finances are you getting what i'm saying now yes so if i do not understand the principles that make for restoration after a delay i can come and say in the name of jesus be restored no the anointing will want to follow the path of restoration but understanding has not opened the channel so the anointing is limited and it will be forced to follow the path that is currently open and if that path is healing or whatever it is then you see it there that means that you are efficient in the dispensing on the, of the power of God to the degree to which you sustain understanding of God's ways, his methodologies. Hallelujah. So in my example, like I gave, every time there was delay in a man's life, restoration came exclusively through the prophetic. Are we together now that means that if i want the power of god to bring restoration to this man the power of god must flow through the prophetic to produce that effect if it flows through any other channel it may bless the man but not restoration are you getting what i'm saying now that means that if i want restoration i will create a pathway of the prophetic for the anointing to come and bless this man this is very very powerful because most believers um and this is the reason why you may want to reason this with me for a while that our fathers respectfully speaking and all those who have gone to be with the lord a number of them did not pay the price to get illumination and spiritual enlightenment are we together they subjected themselves in much fasting and prayer and they had very heavy deposits of the anointing but you notice that with the level of anointing they had their results were small because the understanding that will give that anointing expression to manifest in the various facets of their lives were not there we went to second kings yesterday and we saw how that the problem was not the oil the problem was the vessels 
the vessels if there is a vessel of the understanding of the healing ministry and it is filled the anointing will flow if there is a vessel of prosperity the anointing will flow if there is a vessel of church growth the church will grow if there is a vessel of speed etc etc so it's not enough to be anointed that's why jesus mentored people by giving them over 99 percent teaching they sat under a strong teaching ministry and then in one day they received an impartation we reverse the case in our generation we are always doing impartations we lay hands you fall down you stand up we lay hands you fall down you stand up we lay hands you fall down you stand up but the results do not change because the understanding that gives it expression is not there notice that for such people who have been receiving impartation for many years the day they get any light the result is almost instant because it's like the anointing has been piling up just waiting for the doorway that opens for it the walking knowledge of the power of god i believe in the power of god but it is very frustrating to not know how it can translate to the results of people your being anointed does not mean anything until lives are changed and transformed in a way that is notable enough please listen listen take note of it in a way that is notable enough in a crowd like this my brothers and sisters please reason with me that in a crowd of thousands of people like this and several others from around the world imagine that at the end of this service only three or four or five people are healed delivered or lifted by god's standard even by human standards you did a bad job so you are a blessing to the degree to which you have intimacy with god and you understand the operations of his divine power enough to be able to flow like a river shabakataya flow like a river so that in one hour someone who is probably standing I'm, I'm told they had to create a new overflow so let's use the overflow four right you're just standing at overflow four hoping lord will you touch me and in five minutes you check around and you cannot understand your life again because you have moved to another dimension his divine power his divine power please hear me whatever issue of concern it is the divine power of god that is able to produce it while here thousands of us with our various requests representing our pain our disappointments our frustrations our expectations my assignment as a man of god is to bring your challenges face to face first with god and then his divine power and then if i can do that i finish my assignment my assignment is to connect your situation with the power of god and get out of the way and then you watch the wonder working power of jesus when you don't get out of the way you become an interruption to the efficiency of the power so the assignment of an anointed man of god as it were is to allow the lord to use him by the spirit of god to connect the challenges of people to his divine power if you can do that a miracle service has started hallelujah and so then it becomes it becomes mandatory upon us men and women of god to study the systems that can help us connect the power of god to people's problems like you connect a, a a fuse to a socket and switch it on you finish yours and the gadget begins to work it works for as long as that connection is there mm. hallelujah praise the lord so let it not surprise you if within the next few minutes you turn around and cannot see what you came here with it is his divine power mm. his divine power remember the testimony of our precious mother was so touched when she shared that testimony just like that in the twinkling of an eye someone's life changes the twinkling of an eye a grace you did not come here with goes back with you a twinkling of an eye 
a challenge that you have had that has been age long listen let me tell you don't get too used to the hand of satan on your life just because his hand has rested for a long time does not mean it cannot be lifted you tried lifting it with different graces so they did their best but there are graces that can lift it is true it is true praise the lord your assignment tonight is to believe that his divine power is able to come through for you and then number two to be prepared listen listen please this is your own part now to be prepared to respond by faith what does it mean to respond by faith to listen for the instructions that make for your result it's important every result has a strategy a pathway that produces it if your challenge is jericho you need to know how to go around and shout if your challenge is the red sea you need to know how to use the rod to part it if your challenge is five loaves and two fish to feed five thousand you need to know the mystery of thanksgiving that makes for multiplication if your challenge is the leprosy of naaman you need to know how to go to jordan to wash all results are not produced by the same strategy it is the same divine power but your faith must be anchored on an instruction that is tied to it deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1 it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command you this day it says that you will be set up on high above all nations of the earth and that all these blessings will come upon you and overtake you praise the lord that's how it works so while you take your eyes away from your pain you must set your gaze on something else jesus the possibilities is it true oh god that you can turn my family situation around seven of us came for this miracle service and lord i don't even know where you will start but then you listen you listen you listen sometimes it can come as one prophetic word and it's done look let me tell you something the ease with which miracles happen i think is the reason why many people cannot receive it how do you look at someone like this and say go it's done what does that mean you are making a mockery of me i sang praise and worship i rolled on the ground and i stood here and all you tell me is go was that not what naman was complaining about he said you mean you want to embarrass me i just go and wash in a river I thought you will even come out and salute me and give me something more intelligent but you see the ways of God are not like the ways of men Jesus was speaking to Nicodemus and he said the wind blow it where it listed he says you cannot tell where it's going nor where it's coming he says so is one who is led of the spirit you have to be spiritual to understand the ways of God you have to be spiritual because traditions of men can make the word of god of non-effect it can strangle the potency of god's word but tonight i agree with you and i know that there are people here who are determined that everything we are going to be doing here within the next hour or so that it will culminate to a tangible result let me tell you this i love jesus christ i love him with all my heart and i made a vow unto god that among the many things that will happen to the people that he ever brings to me and puts under my care wasting their time will not be part of it i made up my mind by god that you should not come for koinonia twice to testify no 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 you should come twice to grow you should come twice to learn you should come twice to know god but one encounter should be enough it's true one encounter apostle i came to take fresh fire one encounter one encounter i came to break the bands of witchcraft and wickedness in my family one encounter one encounter apostle my family members did not come with me but they asked me to represent them it doesn't matter one encounter the power of god master 
he says he told the centurion let me come to your house to honor you being a captain in the army he said no for i am also like you a man under authority i understand the stretching power of authority i may be limited as a person but the roman government has a jurisdiction and that whoever is under the influence of that government can feel the effect of the government so they may not be here but the earth is still the lord's so they are still within the jurisdiction of his reach and if you are a man under the authority of that owner then the power of god should flow riding on the integrity and the sovereign power of that owner to touch anybody anywhere this i believe this i believe this i believe Apostle, I don't even know the name of my situation. I've gone to the hospital. They have done everything. Jesus, if he said he was just healer, would have found reason to be afraid later on. But he says, I am the resurrection and the life. What is resurrection? Giving life to something that has no business having life. Resurrection. Resurrection. I am he that was dead, but now is alive. Apostle, I came here with my CV. Is it that God cannot give me a job? I've gone around looking for jobs again and again. I've applied everywhere. God should see my family. What then is the blessing if the anointing cannot change the situation? What does it mean to be a blessing as a man of God? Does it mean to preach well? does it mean to be sympathetic to people's situation as important as that is sympathy does not produce result it only provides comfort god did not call us to be sympathizers no he says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me too then he begins to list all the things that will happen and then at the end of all of those things he says to give them beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called oak or the trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might in their result be glorified john chapter 17 and verse 1 jesus christ lifted up his eyes to the heavens praying and he taught us a principle there verse one he says father the hour has come and then he said glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee so how is god glorified when the son is glorified how is god glorified as a healer when the son is healed when the daughter is healed how is god glorified as a lifter when the son is lifted when the daughter is lifted how is god glorified as a deliverer the dimension of god that he gets glory from is the dimension that the result manifests in your life he cannot be glorified as one who is quick and powerful until your life testifies it your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your favor is real i testify your power is real i testify how then do you know the favor of god is real listen 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 your faith must grow to trust the difference between faith and trust is that faith is predicated on god's integrity are we together now it, uh, on who god is but trust is based on his integrity and his track record you cannot trust a man until there is a track record are we together if i'm meeting you for the first time dr emeka and they tell me you are a doctor I will have faith in you i can't trust you it's too early it's too early to trust you i will see what your injection does for me are we together now when you give me an injection and i cannot walk what should happen to you when you give me an injection i am fine then i come to you and you give me a recommendation and it works i begin to note you and associate you with my joy and then eventually i conclude that this man 
is worth my belief this man is also worth my staking my all to so that the day you give me an instruction that i do not understand i can reach back at the archives of your track record and say i may not know what you are saying but i know what you said and i know what i saw genesis 21 verse 1 genesis 21 i testify i testify that your goodness is real I testify, I testify that your goodness is real. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did to Sarah as he had spoken. Trust in the Lord. How do you trust in the Lord? Take cognizance of his benefits, be observant what did he do in 2001 what did he do in 2005 you see if the lord had not been on our side now may israel say on the strength of that track record they named him they gave a name that should not change a testament of their trust a testament of their trust so your assignment is to believe that God is able. Take your eyes away. I repeat, take your eyes away. Please take your eyes away from anything that is not Jesus tonight. And focus. Apostle, they've prayed for me. A prophet just like you prayed for me. An apostle just like you prayed for me. A pastor even conducted night vigils in our house. I know and I respect God and I respect the grace upon that man. Except that one more thing I did not teach you about the anointing. Is that not every anointing blesses you. The man must be sent. There were many widows in Zarephath. But to none was Elijah sent. When the word of God passes you, it does not bless you. It is when it is sent. He sent, not brought. He sent forth. It was when the king sent for Joseph that his life changed. When I sent thee, lackest thou anything. Not when you moved around. When I sent thee. Because every time he sends it, his integrity is upon it. Tonight, God is sending his word. To me, to you, to us, the word that lifts, the word for your ministry, the word for your life is going to be a quick walk. Some of you write from the communion. As you partake from the communion, you finish your own miracle service. You will just join others in rejoicing. It's true. You know, yesterday I observed and we learned yesterday that the reason why the communion does not produce is because we are only eating bread and juice we have not discerned it the bible says there is a sin that a man can commit the sin of not discerning the lord's body you cannot discern the possibilities that come from that body for many years i took communion and i was left in the dark as to the relevance of this thing in my life I would just take the wafer and take the, the drink and then stop there. Nothing happened. Until I found out that the life-giving factor of everything is understanding. Understanding is what gives life to the spiritual activities and the processes that we're involved with. So it is not enough to just hear. It is not enough to just do. It is the understanding that sponsors what we do that produces the results i don't know if there are people here tonight who are here insisting that as surely as there is a god in heaven whatever i came with i must leave it here tonight hmm. it is important god is giving you understanding now when i came into the house of the lord then understood i the house of god is bethel not just a place of bread but a place where the bread is broken Two men met Jesus in M house and they began to discuss the Messiah and he was there with them but they could not see. And then when he broke bread, the Bible declares that their eyes were open and he departed.
my assignment is to continue to study continually by the spirit the processes that makes for the liberty of the saints much more than the transformation of the saints much more than providing an atmosphere for encounters the saints need to be brought to a point where they encounter the reality of god's power the power of god can be encountered hallelujah so we're going to partake of the communion very quickly and for many of you this will be one communion you will not forget It doesn't matter even if you are the one who serves your own communion you may serve it like a ritual the wafer does not have any power to do anything for you the bread the cup does not have any power but how shall these things be when I'm using only bread and cup the power of the highest shall overshadow that emblem and whatever comes out of it can produce any result a handkerchief and an apron is not even alive talk more of having faith but when his divine power comes upon it it becomes an instrument of signs and wonders the air that you breathe and the sound that is produced from you does not sustain any power except that when your speaking becomes the voice of god then it is no longer the words of man john said i am the voice of one so when you hear me you hear that one hallelujah when it's time to pray for the sick i like you to believe god believe god to set people free we we'll do it very fast because there are so many people and praying for the sick takes a lot of time we'll do it fast and then after that we'll do the deliverance and the impartation and whatever it is that needs to leave you it must go it must go this night it must go this night please jump up on your feet your divine power your divine power able to lift me to a higher dimension in the spirit your divine power is someone praying on the last day of the feast jesus came and said is anyone thirsty is anyone thirsty the final day of the feast Go ahead and pray, please. Inside, outside. Lift your voices and pray. Are you praying? Lord, I believe. It is your divine power. Now I know how the results will come. Your divine power. I know how the lifting will come. Your divine power. I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me yeah. I am shadow of your wings your influence is all over us we are under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over us yeah. Lift your voice and pray. Sabarando Seneca Tabariatash. Tonight is my night. I discern. I discern. Sabrakato Seneca Prashd. And the Legabrande Zedika Shobragada Baladabash. Krato Zazigada Barunde Ketosh. Embrakato Zaleke Pradish. Shebradika Posh. Rakato Variada Baladabash. Rakatu barindes kemeritash Rakaparuda siyadabaladadabara 
Please keep praying. Hela baranda zazia hasa barando kate prekedi balaraba. Hallelujah. John chapter six. John chapter 6 we we'll begin our reading from verse 49 to 56 John chapter 6 your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead next verse this is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die 51 I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, not is like my flesh. Is my flesh, which I give for the life of the world. 52. And the Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? 53. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Stop here. Just, just go back. Just go back. This is what he's saying. That in the flesh of the Son of Man and in the blood of the Son of Man is his life. That the life of the flesh is in the blood. Are we together now? listen very carefully so that when you partake please keep that scripture when you partake of it with understanding the bible says that you are not just taking a wafer you are not just taking a drink but that you are you are opening up yourself to partake of the life of god next verse 54 whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood had i told you the word there is not eternal life is the word so way it's not the longevity of the life but the quality of the life and i will raise him up on the last day 55 we're stopping at 56 for my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed the last verse he that eateth my flesh this is it and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. This is a theological concept called the doctrine of interpenetration. Is the system by which two separate entities are interwoven to become one. The same mystery in marriage. The same mystery with the spirit of God. So that by the mystery of partaking in the communion. That means the spirit should not know the difference between your body and God's body. Are we together now? Yes. Let me tell you what that means. Come. Look at this. Emeka, come. Watch this. If this lady is his wife and she's weak and he's strong, his strength is her own too. You understand that? Are you getting me? Not part of his strength. His strength. So if you say she's strong, you are right. Are we together now? This is very important now. That means that when she's strong and he's weak, her strength is his strength too interpenetration and so now when you partake of this although your body may be weak and frail although your finances may be weak and frail although your ministry may be weak and frail although your body may be ravaged by all kinds of demons but here you are introducing like you are shaking the hand of the other partner in a wrestling and here he comes through this mystery as little as this is let me tell you, when you understand this mystery, you will not even be able to hold this thing you see like this. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray on this and then we're going to distribute it around. It's simple enough for you to open. You just here open the wafer and then the drink. And please, the moment you do, do not litter the ground. Do not litter the ground. I don't know what provision has been made for that. But if no provision has been made, whilst you take it, 
provided you are not under the anointing just pass it to the last person at the aisle and then you make it easy for the ushers or whoever is involved to just pick them up you can use the off the bowls or whatever you have to have them we're going to pray please pray in one minute and mention the things that must live your life because they are not found in the life of the Christ Please pray. By wisdom, O oh God, heaven's gates open up. With understanding, you order the season. Creating day and night, turning darkness into light. Arranging the stars to your pleasing. But I can't Blessed are you, O oh Lord our God, whose words bring in the evening. Please pray in one minute. We discern your body. We discern your body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, it should go around. I believe that they just brought this to represent the communion. I'm going to pray on this. This is ordinary welfare and a drink. But not after the power of God comes upon it. It says anything receives power after the Holy Ghost comes on it. Not just men. You shall receive power. The you can be this. Can receive power. Provided the Holy Ghost comes on it. He didn't say men shall receive power. No. Anything receives power when the Holy Ghost comes upon it. Your pain receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your ministry receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your communion receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon this. I lay my hands upon this communion representing all others that are not here i decree oh god that in a very strange way may your power flow through this in the name of jesus let it bring miracles let it bring all kinds of deliverances in the name of jesus whoever partakes of this tonight in the name of jesus i declare instantly may your power begin to rest upon them let all kinds of breakthroughs begin to happen. Let infirmities give way in the name of Jesus. Let deliverances, let devils and demons begin to leave. Let doors begin to open. In the name of Jesus Christ. My flesh is meat indeed. We partake with understanding. We partake with understanding. Please make sure everybody, something will begin to happen to you as you partake of this. You will marvel and wonder at the power of the communion. Go ahead, take it with faith and watch the wonder-working power. The wonder-working power of Jesus. The wonder-working power of Jesus.
Bring all those under the anointing out. Please bring them out quickly. While we wait for the rest to finish, please just bring them out quickly. Something is opening up in your spirit, man. My flesh is meat indeed. My blood is drink indeed. Please bring those under the anointing. There is a reason why I ask you to bring them. I want to pray for them. Something is already happening in the realm of the spirit. Whoa, oh, 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 Please be patient tonight. God is setting people free. When there is understanding to your spiritual activity, then the power is released. The power is released. You will not believe the kinds of burdens that are leaving people already. Mm. My flesh is meat indeed. My blood is drink indeed. He that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood hath my life.
It says, every tree that has not been planted by my father will be uprooted. Is it not written in your word? That for this purpose, the son of God was made manifest that he may destroy. I decree in the name of Jesus, we are going to begin to minister now, that every force that is not of the Christ, Right now, I decree and declare by an apostolic and a prophetic rod scattered around this crowd, inside and outside, everybody under any kind of bondage, I decree be free now. Be free now. I command judgment on strange spirits in the name of Jesus. The spirits of ancestry, the workings of bloodlines and territories, I come against you by the God of heaven. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, there is liberty. Listen, we are still praying. Please pay attention. I'm praying now. The Lord is showing me families. I'm seeing families under an intense yoke of retrogression. Nothing moves in that family. You can go to school, it doesn't make any difference. You can get a job, it doesn't make any difference. Have a business, it doesn't make any difference. I stretch my hands. Where are those people? Inside and outside. I declare right now. The power of God is coming upon you. It's time for your family to be released. At the count of three. One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. I lose your family. I set them free. I set them free. Shamanda kaskabarakata. Embrekete kaparoto seteka. Sheketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeket
that the people that are sitting there, I'm seeing a lot of attacks. At the count of three overflow three, I want you to shout the name Jesus and there will be a mighty deliverance there. Overflow three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the gate of a prison and I'm seeing people inside. The gate of a prison, like the front of a prison. And I remember scripture says to open, to set at liberty them that are bound. There are people who are moving but are in prison. All sorts of prisons. Right now I decree and declare, even by the power of the Holy Ghost, let the doors and the chains and the yokes that keep you in bondage i declare that those chains are loose now i declare that those chains are loose now and for all those in front here representing all those that i'm praying for i declare not only that the spirits leave you but that whatever they took from you as surely as the God of heaven lives, your families must testify of that restoration. Therefore, leave them now. Go, go. Out of them now. In the name of Jesus, release their families. Release their spiritual lives. Release their finances. Parados is a hasaka parodasia. Lembra ghetto scalaricias, Hebras godash. Prakato baradus as the anakata baladash. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, this road, lift your hands. I just see angelic activities happening here, and I'm seeing something being removed out of people's stomachs. This is what I'm seeing here something is being removed out of people's stomachs that's what the lord is showing me just this role i don't know what it is but god is uprooting something that should not be there by the spirit of the living god let it go let it go in the name of jesus i place the word of god upon that situation it must let you go right now the lord is taking something out i still continue to see this vision god is taking something out of people's stomachs the spirit of the lord is there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty i'm seeing the feet of a man and i'm seeing the feet of a man under chains under chains this is what i see and the Lord is showing me fire coming to break and consume the feet. I know that this vision is a representation of stagnation again over men and families. And I declare right now, according to that which the Lord has shown me, in the name of Jesus, that anyone whose feet is being tied in the same position, right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, right now something is happening to people. I decree, I decree, and I declare. Let there be liberty now. Inside, outside, let there be liberty. Right now. Let there be liberty, liberty. I command progress to your life. Move forward. I push you by prophecy. Move forward. Make progress. Move forward. Make progress. I forbid stagnation. Move forward. Make progress. I don't know how to pray this prayer.
now. Those who are fine up here can return to their seats. I want to pray a prayer and this will affect a lot of people. You don't have to bring the people out. I found myself praying this prayer again and again and again and again. Almost everywhere I've traveled in the last two to three months, the Lord has mandated that I pray this prayer. And my goodness, the testimonies that have come from this. This is the Lord walking in the midst of his people. That lady is not yet free, my friend. Osha, be discerning. In the name of Jesus, that lady is not yet free. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on their wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy. You are holy, you are holy, holy, ta -da -da. Ta -da -da. Ta -da -da. ta da da ta da da ta da da ta da ta da ta da Please, someone to join the PR can join the ushers, protocol can join the ushers. I want to pray. There is a grace for speed, there is an exact grace. Speed is not progress. No, no, there is a difference between progress and speed. I had an encounter with the Lord and he placed this grace upon my life. If not that it happened, I know there is advancement and I know there is speed. But I never knew what it was and how it operated until the Lord gave me an encounter. Truly, let me tell you, there is a real grace for speed. And when that grace comes on you, you will join the world in shock as to what becomes of your life and the Lord wants that grace to come on somebody this night there's someone here that needs this grace this is why you came it's not like you are stagnated but it takes forever if you will believe if you will humble yourself this night and open your spirit you will be surprised I'm going to pray this prayer. The reason why I ask some people to join is because every time I pray this prayer, people begin to run in the spirit and by the spirit. I don't know why it happens that way. Be sensitive, please. And then it is of the spirit. Please don't ask me why it happens that way. But if you will let me pray this prayer tonight, God can make five years the result of five years to come within even a month. I know it works. When you have this grace on your life, you don't fear delay. It makes no difference. You will gain time within moments. I decree and declare, by the privilege of God's grace, I stretch my hands inside, everywhere, overflow, one, two, three, online. Father, I pray right now, let the grace for speed at the count of three, come upon someone. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. I shift you. Speed. 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 Speed to your spiritual life. Speed to your finances. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed upon your influence. 
this is a major answer to your prayer i declare it again speed speed receive it receive it it is not by might nor by power but by the spirit of god you can be picked up upon the wings of the spirit and do things that eyes have not seen that ears have not heard i pray it again those outside receive it those outside receive it i declare speed in the similitude of elijah you will run and you will overtake the chariots of aha hallelujah 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 we are going to pray we have to redeem time there is a lot to do your wife started a journey in the spirit i'm seeing a prophetic progression in her life there is a prophetic mantle that is searching for her it's begun gradually this woman you are seeing as frail as she may look but the hand of god will come upon her and she will speak forth the purposes of god with power i stretch my hands upon you and i pray that the spirit of god will perfect let there be a birthing a birthing of the things that he has begun upon your life a birthing of the things that he has begun my friend come this man we may not have time to prophesy to people there's a lot to do lift your hands i don't know you you are coming from somewhere and there are two graces that god is bringing upon your life number one is for your own benefit restoration that's what i hear number two this speed that you see i prayed for is coming upon you i stretch my hands may that grace in the name of jesus first for restoration let there be a restoration of everything the devil has stolen and then i declare speed you receive it now move forward go forward in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there's an elderly woman here called rebecca 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 if we talk to people the time will be gone we have to honor it so that we can do some other things who is that rebecca please when you find the person i want to talk to her in the name of jesus christ we're going to pray for the sick Kai. this woman is outside you are not inside you are wearing a, a red like wrapper on your head the same with what is down on you confirm it mama your name is rebecca where are you from outside i will pray for you now i don't know you have never seen you but i want to pray for you the lord is going to honor you i decided to take a pause because um the lord just asked me to stand here that's why i'm standing here i'm standing here because i saw something that looked like a bird just come out of someone right here like this just like that just out of someone this is what i saw in the name of jesus release this family now release this family now in the name of jesus christ madam i'll pray for you your name is rebecca too please come i will pray for you i found the person i'm ministering to but i'll pray for you from where madam from where from area c area c yes sir. i want to pray for you what's wrong with your back back pain yes, this is what i'm seeing true. you it's get up true, in the morning and, and then you feel a lot yes, of pain sometimes yes. you cannot even wash yes, yes. number two your chest too yes, it's true. severe it's true. chest around the breast region yes, here true, the lord is setting true, you free true. right now madam yes, in the name of jesus let it be over right now and forever in the mighty name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ ah, 
I just had like a car crash in my ears. You know how an accident just happens right now. This is what I just had in my ears. And that the family that that should happen for is in this place. I'm going to pray right now. Be free now. I command death. You are a spirit. I judge you by the God of heaven. And to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. I want to pray for you, madam, in the name of Jesus Christ, that God himself will bless you and not only bless you. Where are your children, madam? Huh? They're here. Your children are here. Yes. Where are they? Pension. Isaac. Pension and Isaac. And Sarah. This may be the last word and then we have to pray for the sick. There's a lot. Patience and Isaac. Now only Lord no day here. Let me just pray for you. If, if you are the only one who can represent them. Stand up please my friend. Mama I will pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because I'm seeing a very major breakthrough coming to this family. The Lord himself is bringing it to a very major breakthrough. I have no business saying anything God did not tell me. I've not prayed the prayer yet, yet you are receiving it. It's the grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. This man will be like a well-watered garden. That the favor of God will call him Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, ma. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, the breakthrough that the Lord shows me, let it come and come speedily. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are her daughter? Let me pray for you, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will not say there is something in your stomach growing. Huh? I'm rebuking something they will not tell you that there is a growth that is growing in your stomach I just laid my hands and God is healing someone in overflow one oh, please hold on there is a growth there is a growth there is a growth this has been characterized by extremely painful your period is extremely painful but more than that there is a growth just around your abdominal area overflow one you don't have to come out the power of god is touching that person right now in the name of jesus christ my dear in jesus name by the spirit of the living god we declare your liberty complete total final in jesus name i pray praise the lord now we're going to pray for the sick Praying for the sick takes a lot of time. Our time is already gone. I, I bless God that there are a number of hands tonight. Now, listen, we believe in the power of God to touch people, to lift people. And most times you would notice in my external ministrations, I don't have time to minister to people one by one. But because this is a miracle service dedicated for that. The Lord has honored us to be a light on this wise in this city. And it is important that we're fair enough to just allow the power of God extend to people. We'll do it very fast. Um, all of the overflows, all of the overflows, I would request that you just move those trusting God for healing particularly. Please, I would request that you move to the front of your projector screen. That's where you are going to be prayed for. Um, the ones that spill over, do I call that overflow five now? I will just request you to be patient. We are going to assign a person or two there to minister to you. But overflow four, three, two, one, and right in here. You are here, you came standing in for someone or standing in for yourself. Please make your way out here very quickly. And let's trust the God of heaven to set you free. You are here full of faith. Please stand up, please stand up. If you kneel, there will not be space. Just come, stand. It doesn't matter. You don't have to come in. If you're outside, just go to your overflow, please. Hallelujah. Myself, alongside the men and the women of God represented here, will be praying for you. Look how many people 
are trusting God to touch them. Hallelujah. Now, please, you don't have to ask anybody to prophesy or speak. Just let them minister to you. If there is need to speak any words, they will let you know. Praise the Lord. There are so many people this night, and so we'll do our best so we can gain time and just just line everybody here and then we'll pray for you praise the lord pray for just be patient and allow the men of god minister to you while that is happening our time is already gone please stretch your hands if you've not submitted your request um, you can just wave it and someone will pick it up from you especially for those outside you're yet to submit your request just stretch your hands right here and let us agree this hold on please this is not religion this is not tradition this is not a ritual this is a mystery it's a revelation let us not get used to doing this just as a ritual for the miracle service because when we have the form without the power then it will not bless us there have been many many wonderful testimonies that have come out from here and um, since I'm the only one here let the men of God minister to you if you are still being ministered to just focus on the ministration but then for all others just stretch your hands towards me and let's agree that these Egyptians we see today that we will see no more please agree release your faith and believe we are praying we may not be able to prophesy to you personally we may not be able to give you a word of knowledge but this is a representation of your heart your pain your desire your expectation the Bible says and thine expectation shall not be caught short stretch your hands and let's agree there is a God that answers prayers. Shabaradagata Barakotos. Karuza Siamaha Karuskadesh. Lekete Prekete Sida Baladas. Is someone praying? Online pray. The overflows pray. Father, we declare. We are declaring as the church. We are releasing an anointing. The divine power of God upon these requests some of these requests are death sentences some of them are humanly impossible situations but unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come Rekete kata barada bagato barato zaziana kata shkala baranda kaparu zaziana kata. In the name of Jesus, we declare upon these requests a representation of the tears and the pain of your people. We decree and we declare makrato skalambre de kaparu zazia kata bradias ille perato zazia kata baranda gadash. Kritos Kalabarakata Baladabush Shalabaranda Kapurus Likete Ketekete Baradabash. We decree and we declare Manda Prados Kaziza Hashkalabaranda Kata Imbre Degete Belekatos. Arise for your people by the abundance of your mercy. Give your people testimonies in the name of Jesus. Jiprakatos, Kalabarakata. Believers pray, we are agreeing. Likato Janana Katabarados. Jabros Katabaranda Kata. Supernatural manifestations of your power. Supernatural manifestations of your power. Supernatural manifestations of your power. Kalabarakata Sosa Brandegadebash. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare supernatural workings of miracles tonight. We declare healing miracles. We declare miracles of provisions. 
We declare miracles of jobs. We declare sentences of death are broken. In the name of Jesus. We declare supernatural interception. Angelic interventions tonight. We declare diverse kinds of miracles. Diverse workings of miracles. In the name of Jesus. We declare creative miracles. We call new organs. We call new jobs. We call for children. We call for deliverances of families. We declare miracles on every side. Let tears of family be wiped away. In the name of Jesus. We declare diverse testimonies tonight. By the workings of miracles. By the divine power of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your, the heavens are open in the name of Jesus. We thank you for creative miracles. We thank you for money miracles. We thank you for supernatural deliverances. We thank you, Lord, for manifesting your power. We thank you for miracle babies. We thank you for miracle job. We thank you for special miracles. Father Lord, we thank you for the manifestation of the world you have decreed over our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we receive answer to every prayer request here tonight in the name of Jesus. We receive answers tonight in the name of Jesus. Special miracles uh, in the name of Jesus. Diverse kinds of testimonies uh, in the name of Jesus. Angelic interventions uh, in the name of Jesus. Supernatural supplies uh, in the name of Jesus. Great open doors uh, in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, O oh God. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's give Jesus praise. We agree that as we have declared, it is done in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. Please give me two minutes. We must do the impartation. We have been fasting. We have been praying. And we have trivialized impartation in the body of Christ. We are always looking for people to lay hands on, always looking for people to prophesy on. So every time we talk about an impartation, there is hardly an expectation. But a real impartation brings result. You can carry something now that you did not come here with. Please believe. An impartation is not just an anointing for ministry. I told you it's a transference of possibilities. Praise the Lord. So in the next two, three minutes, please let your heart be opened. You don't have to bring anybody out under the anointing. Just guide them, but please receive. Please receive. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. No matter the quality of your secret place, you will need impartation. There are possibilities in your life that cannot evolve just from your secret place. You will need to tap into the provision that has been vested in the body. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus. The grace, you don't have to kneel. Please, you don't have to kneel. The grace that makes for a new level of visions. People have lost visions in the body of Christ. We tell lies that we are seeing but we are not seeing anything. Father, the eyes that see genuine visions, let there be a restoration. Let that mantle fall upon someone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the eyes that can see into the realm of the spirit, the ears that can hear the sound of the spirit. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. That prophetic river locked up within your spirit in the name that is above all names. The grace for the prophetic 
in a new dimension who is this grace coming upon mabato zabarakata embreketeta upon all flesh he says i will pour out my spirit receive that anointing now in the name of jesus I believe in miracles and I believe that there is a distinct grace for signs and wonders. I'm stretching my hands. I'm seeing a dove. This is what I'm seeing. Just like a bird hovering around. In the name of Jesus Christ, upon as many whose hearts are open, Father, the anointing, the real anointing for signs, for wonders, inside outside especially upon men and women of god i decree and declare let this grace for signs and wonders fall upon you now in the name of jesus fall upon you now for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group i say it again for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group receive it in the name of jesus The spirit of wisdom there is a spirit of wisdom it says doth not wisdom cry wisdom speaking says with me are it says by me kings reign and princes decree justice it says with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness I declare the grace to know what to do is called the spirit of wisdom the grace to know what to do let it come upon you right now let it come upon you right now let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now please help those under the anointing talabarus kanamahashanas I want to release favor the grace that can make a king say up to half of my kingdom there is a grace for favor I testify to you people of the living God there is a grace for favor it is not of him that run it nor of him it is not of him that that um run it what's the scripture we net not of him that run it but of the lord that showed mercy he said thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion and the reason why you have mercy is because the time to favor her yea the set time favor will take away hardship from your life not just financially even spiritually i decree and declare receive the grace for favor it's coming upon you receive the grace for favor receive the grace favor in ministry favor in business favor in ministry favor in business favor in ministry favor in business in the name of jesus every geography has its favor may the favor associated with your geography if it was on the rocks the king built on the rocks it was an advantage if it was the sea they channeled the water for productivity every territory has access to favor i declare that the favor a portion for your territory let it rest upon you right now I want to pray for the spirit of revelation to make all men see the fellowship of this mystery let me tell you this i confess to you sincerely under god that by the privilege of god's grace i'm a student of the word but i can tell you this no matter how frequent you read this there is a spirit that must come on you for your eyes to see otherwise sometimes you will see but what you will see is error sometimes what you will see will deceive you i'm praying for you we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation some of you started with a rich deposit of this spirit 
but as it is right now you open scripture and you don't see anything all you continue to do is copy the messages of men of God verbatim I declare that a unique grace for revelation let it rest upon you right now access inside access inside access inside into the mysteries of the kingdom this is the year of extraordinary fruitfulness I believe there is a grace for wealth I believe it I believe there are principles for wealth I believe there are understandings that can bring resources but I believe there is a grace there is an exact spiritual grace that works by causing men to come with their blessings when that grace came upon Saul three men holding two loaves of bread each saluted him and gave him one in the name that is above all names in this season that God has ordained for the body that in addition to the prosperity of our souls in addition to understanding influence and the principles of spiritual transformation let the grace that can cause a man to rise and become as strong as a nation financially may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus I believe there is a grace that shields men from destruction he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it don't touch this one there is something upon it I decree and declare let the mark that exempts men from terrorism from kidnapping from assassination from accidents the grace that exempts receive it right now for you and for your family receive it right now receive it right now I declare that whatever you have lost coming here it doesn't matter how long please believe release your faith right now in the name of Jesus Christ I command a sevenfold restoration I command a sevenfold restoration restoration of anointings of money of ideas of relationships of access of illumination in the name of Jesus I pray for every ministry represented here whatever has clamped your wings so that your influence cannot spread beyond certain borders I declare by the power of the Spirit shift to a new dimension shift to a new dimension of teaching of the miraculous of the demonstration of the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I will multiply them they will not be small I will glorify them they will not be few whatever keeps you small in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that power is broken over you now all those trusting God for jobs here yeah. you are trusting God you have agreed with God and said Lord said to me give me an honorable job I release my faith with you and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that by this time next month let it please the Lord that you return with testimonies let me pray for those in business father the grace that came upon Tyre and Sidon that made them to be called the marketplaces of the earth I decree and declare that the spirit not only of innovation but the mastery to exchange your value the grace the fortitude to know how to exchange your value such that you are rewarded may that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I speak to every dying business here hear the word of the Lord come alive now in the name of Jesus everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb 
in the name of Jesus, whether for you or for your loved ones, we agree by the power that put Jesus in the womb of Mary, in the name that is above all names, is called the power of the highest, that can put a seed in the womb of a woman and keep that seed until it delivers. May that grace and that power come upon you now. We cause barrenness. We cause impotency. In the name of Jesus. Whoever has what it takes to favor you. The Bible says withhold not good from them that is due when it is within your power. I declare whoever has the power to support you. The power to help lift you. We compel them by the spirit to favor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray in the name of Jesus. We are rounding up the prayer and fasting. Many of you have stretched your capacity spiritually. I declare the fire of prayer that can burn an incense and cause it to reach heaven. In the name of Jesus, every attack on your prayer life let the seven lampstands of your prayer life be lit back right now in the name of Jesus Christ receive the grace to travail receive the grace to pray somebody is leaving his current level let me tell you listen I prophesy to you that the level you are now there is a hand that will pick you tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and when they saw Saul they said is Saul also a prophet what suddenly happened a man who left as a house boy returned back with an anointing I pray in the name that is above all names those who have laughed at you this is the season they will see the glory of God arise. Those who have mocked your God, I prophesy, this is the season you will arise. Those who have said it's impossible, may the hand of my God lift you from where you are to where you need to be. Hallelujah. The Bible says and the king sent for Joseph a man of great destiny was locked up in a pit but the Bible says the king sent for him let me tell you when the king sends for you no power in existence has the ability to stop you when the king if a messenger sends for you is all right but when he said the king sent for Joseph tonight my God is sending for you it's time for your destiny to arise the king is sending for you the king is sending for you hallelujah Ezekiel 47 listen 11 times in my dream the Lord kept telling me is the season of breaking forth for God's people 11 times 11 times I have never had such an experience 11 times the Lord kept speaking to me that go and prophesy that is the season that's why I came with that verse you can choose to believe it because you see when many people hear the word they are just those who just stand but there are others who say Lord this is it this is my word I take it I receive it it is my word Ezekiel 47 I'll just share this and we'll pray I want your spirit to be fired up tonight afterwards he brought me again to the door of the house and behold what has issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward 
and the forefront of the house stood towards the east and the waters came out from under from the right side of the house at the south side of the altar then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward and led me about the way outside into the outer gate by the way that looks eastward and behold there ran out waters from the right side now listen he says and when the man that had the line in his hands went forth eastward he measured a thousand cubits that's a level and he brought me through the waters and they were to my ankles again everybody say again oh the last lifting is not the last one the bible says again the word of the lord is coming again for many of us the last time it came was years ago it says arise shine not because there is light the light has come to you when the light comes to you you must arise hallelujah again he measured a thousand cubits and brought me through the waters and the waters were to my knees again he measured a thousand and brought me through and the waters were to my loins afterwards he measured a thousand cubits and it was a river i could not pass for the waters had risen waters to swim and rivers i could not pass over Oh, the lord will take you higher in the name of jesus christ the lord will take you higher in the name of jesus christ hold hands with somebody and we're going to prophesy combine all these three scriptures together and shout it let the pit of hell know that is your season for lifting go ahead and prophesy it's my season of lifting. It's my season of breaking forth. It's my season of life. It's my season of dominion by the power of the Holy Ghost. Shake up, 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 up. Prophesy. Breaking forth in every area of your life. I'm breaking forth. Spiritually, I'm breaking forth financially. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's take one more scripture. Revelation chapter 3. Man take a babakata la bakata. Revelation chapter 3. From verse 8. It's projected. Are you ready? One to read. he says i know your works in other words i've been watching you although things are not working i watch the way you praise me through the pain he said i know your works and as a result behold see i have set before you an open door he said no man no man no government no devil of darkness can stop it lift your voice and prophesy the door is open for me that prison door is open in the name of the lord jesus shake it take it in. sister receive it for your marriage that door is open receive it for your finances receive it for your career the door is open the power that will stop you must bow tonight Oh yes, you set before me an open door, an open door.
can we still pray through more scriptures Isaiah 45 Isaiah 45 I'll read verse 1 and 2 and then I want you to read verse 3 from the depths of your heart Isaiah 45 thus saith the Lord unto his anointed Joshua Selman whose right hand I have holden to subdue nations before him and I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaf gates he says and the gates shall not be shut verse 2 I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. You are ready to read your prophecy now, verse 3. Shake it, Baba Baba. And bring the second neighbor, Baba Baba. He said, And I will give you the hidden riches of secret places. Lift your voice and pray and say, Lord, I'm ready to receive. Your word says you will smash the gates and you will give me the hidden riches of secret places. Come on, pray, Koinonia. The meeting is already on. Pray. I receive it. I receive it. Hallelujah. The last scripture, Isaiah 43. Hmm. Isaiah 43 from verse 16. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready? Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters. How can a man make way in the sea? Hallelujah. Verse 17. Who bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power? They shall lie down together, they shall not rise. And they are extinct, they are quenched as a weak. Verse 18 is a prophecy to someone. He said, remember ye not the former things. Forget about the disappointment of yesterday. Forget about who said what. Forget about what did not work. Are you hearing me? Forget about the result of yesterday. Forget about what the doctor said. He said, remember ye not the former things. Neither consider the things of old. Why? Verse 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Oh yes, he will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness. And streams in the desert. I'd like you to lift your voice and say lord i forget about the failures of yesterday i forget about the failures of yesterday in the name of jesus what the lord will do will surpass what you expected him to do pray i remember not the disappointment i remember not the failure Go ahead and prophesy. It's a new season. God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. Receive it as a prophecy. Hallelujah. May your ears hear it. May your eyes see it. 
and may your hands handle it i prophesy one more time may your ears hear about it may your eyes see the miracle and may these hands that are lifted may these hands handle it in the name of the lord jesus christ give god a shout of praise and be seated hallelujah thank you jesus once in a while god gives us prophetic words like this to shake off every unbelief hallelujah thank you jesus one of our passions as a ministry aside from helping people experience intimacy with the holy spirit one of our passion is to help people understand the principles of the kingdom everybody say the principles of the kingdom one of the greatest revelation in my life was the understanding that the kingdom of god is a system that is built on definite structures For me, that was the ultimate confirmation that God is a just God. Hallelujah. The Bible says he's no respecter of persons and he does not show favoritism. Whoever can walk this principle of the kingdom earns the right to walk in such a strange order of graces and blessings. And may that be your portion tonight in the name of jesus christ so tonight i want to share with us something when the lord gave me the word that he's increasing and expanding our greatness i knew at once that my job is to prepare us so that we do not miss out on the prophetic things that god is doing hallelujah thank you jesus you will be lifted in the name of jesus christ tonight i want to share a very simple spiritual principle and i will tell you why certain people rise and get to some levels and never rise beyond it if you listen if you if you listen and understand what i will teach tonight truly your path will be as a shining light we have prayed we have spoken the word but now is the time to settle down and listen and know how to align with prophecy he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you war a good warfare with the prophecy that has been spoken to you it's not enough that the word comes we must know how to align with the word say amen and tonight i want to teach on a very powerful spiritual principle write it down faithfulness 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 that spiritual formula that governs the rising of men from one level to the other faithfulness i want to show you a powerful formula part of the construction of the kingdom of god this principle was put there and if you know how to walk it then you will keep rising everybody say faithfulness The first point I want you to know tonight is that it is God's desire for us to experience ever increasing success and greatness in every area of our lives. It is God's desire for everyone, everyone under the sound of my voice and those connecting with us online. It is God's desire for everyone to experience ever increasing success ever increasing greatness is god's desire for you to move from one level of glory to another 
it's important that you know that it is God's desire there are people who do not believe that it is God's desire for them to experience the blessings of God to rise from one level of kingdom influence to the other say it is the desire of God to see me increase hallelujah but then this these greater levels that we talk about doesn't just come just because of prayer or prophecy alone there are kingdom principles that we must abide by and if we do then we'll be able to step into these levels and one of them one of them is faithfulness hallelujah there are very few teachings about this faithfulness we teach on prayer we teach on many aspects of kingdom principles and they are good but I, I will show you the all surpassing excellency of faithfulness and how it is able to take a man from nothing and take you to the top hallelujah what is faithfulness right faithfulness means continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment please write I want to be very simple so that every one of us will understand continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment be it towards God be it towards men or be it towards a cause unrelenting continuous loyalty and commitment towards God towards men or towards a cause faithfulness faithfulness is such a powerful kingdom principle that God himself called one of the names of God is faithful he is not just he doesn't just have faithfulness he is faithful that is the quality of God that makes him trustworthy it is the faithfulness of God I remember preaching a message was it last year or year before last faith in the faithfulness of God hallelujah to be faithful means to be dependable it means to be loyal it means to be trustworthy please I want you to pay attention tonight this simple kingdom principle has been the reason why many people have failed to rise from their current level of grace or current level of blessings to the next but tonight as light comes you will arise in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah listen the blessings of God upon a man's life always come in levels write it you must understand this this is how the kingdom functions there's no other way no matter how anointed you are the blessings of God the anointing of God the grace of God comes upon a man's life in levels hallelujah the blessings of God come in levels listen just this this revelation enough this one I just told you is enough deliverance for many people who want to get blessed you know all this sharp sharp mentality right and the youth in Nigeria have this mentality the average young man is in a hurry we want to be blessed we want to make money fast hallelujah a man starts a ministry now and in one year he wants to have 50,000 people he wants to have 30 branches let me tell you the truth if you understand the structure of God's kingdom and how he blesses men you will stop struggling in your life many of the things that people call satanic oppression is not satanic oppression is the consequence of the violation of God's order of lifting people hallelujah a man starts a ministry 
and all of a sudden he sends all kinds of young people to the 36 regions of this nation and say go and start the branch of the church the kingdom does not work that way in the parable of jesus he said the kingdom of god is like a seed have you read that before the kingdom of god always starts small and then it begins to rise and the factor the report card is faithfulness hallelujah Matthew 25 Matthew 25 very interesting parable that Jesus gave verse 14 Jesus is giving us a parable now see listen the Bible is not a storybook. The Bible is the wisdom of God. And if you follow through, especially the teachings of Jesus, you will see the order and the operation of the kingdom. The way the kingdom was supposed to function. Verse 14. It says, for the kingdom of heaven is as that means likened to a man. All right. Traveling into a far country. And he called his servants. Three people, please. Three people, come. You are the servants. Just stand three people. Where's the third person? Just stand face the congregation. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country. And called his own servants. And delivered unto them goods. Look up. The Bible says they are his servants. That means he has been watching them. Is that true? Do you agree with me? For them to be his servant. It means they had a period of time when they were serving him. And while they served him, he kept watching. And on the strength of his judgment and his findings. Next verse. And unto one, he gave what? Five talents, right? Unto the second, he gave what? Two talents. And to the third, he gave what? What was the factor? It says, according to their several ability. In other words, their capacity to manage that resource. Are you following me now? not according to their prayer request not according to the prayer point they dropped during miracle service according to their ability that had been proven with time and you will see at the end of the parable that the man did not make a mistake ready next verse then he left he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made five more talents so this guy went and brought back profit verse 17 likewise the other who received two he gained another two all right then the third one it says but he that received one went and dug the earth you sow seeds not talent what you sow in the earth is a seed are you getting my point you don't sow talent in the earth and he took that talent and sowed it in the earth and he the lord's money after a long time aha this is another principle what is jesus teaching us here that every time god trusts you with whatever level of grace he will come back there will be accountability are you getting my point there will be a defense there will be a supervision and the report card is what will determine whether you will rise to a new level or not please listen to me and many of you you will know the reason why although you are anointed you've not backslidden but you may never rise to another level until you pass the test of this current level hallelujah so he came back to ask the servants verse 20 so he that had received five talents he now came to the master right and brought five more in other words you gave me five master i went and i faithfully used it and this is the prophet the one that had two okay listen 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 it says the lord said unto him please go back to verse 20 behold 
I have gained besides them five talents more. Let's see what the master said, verse 21. And the Lord said unto him, Well done, good and did he say good and hard working servant? Good and faithful servant. Thou hast been what? Faithful. Are you seeing now? That's the quality. I gave you certain gifts. I gave you certain opportunities. I gave you certain anointings. I gave you certain graces. I connected you with certain people. He said you have been faithful over a few things. What's the reward? He says I will make you ruler over what? Many things. Did the guy pray for it? Did he fast for it? He just showed himself faithful. And the Lord said i'm ready to take you in other words your faithfulness is your report card that you qualify to enter the next level enter thou into the joy of the lord 22 he who had received two talents came and said you did this and that and that verse 23 the lord said unto him also same word well done good and faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things i will make you ruler over what this is Jesus teaching. He's teaching us how the kingdom works. Let's see what happened to the third person. 24. And he which had received the one talent came. Look at the guy. This is the one talent guy now. Just, just watch carefully. He said, Lord, that's him talking now. After a long time of God entrusting him with an anointing. After a long time, God gave him five members. And gave him one year and kept watching what he was doing with the five members are you getting my point he kept grumbling and comparing himself with other people and doing all kinds of things and here's his report lord i knew that you are a hard man look look at this guy he's talking to the man who gave him the gift lord i know you are a hard man reaping where you have not sown can you imagine what did they call the money he said it is the lord's money but this guy is now saying you want me to be the one praying for the sick then i'll be giving you glory you are shining up there i'm here suffering and praying for people are you getting the point now he said it, it, it was see the bible says out of the abundance of the heart so this guy had been locked up in bitterness and anger waiting and say let, let this lord come we are going to flog out this issue once and for all he could not wait number five finished his own number two he said thank god it's my turn lord i know you are a hard man you like reaping where you do not sow he says and gathering where you have not strawed 25 i was afraid instead of wasting my time to build an empire and for you to come and say it's your own it made me afraid i don't want to waste my time doing something i will not enjoy the glory directly are you getting what the guy is saying i'm not ready to just work for you and then at the end i will now come to you and say all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god that's what these guys did are you getting me they came back and said this is what you have done but all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god this guy was angry he said this song is not for me oh hallelujah and he was telling god his own version of the song what's the version all the glory belongs to me all the glory belongs to me oh god talking to the lord now stood and looked at him eyeball to eyeball are you getting my point now it says and went and hid thy talent in the earth lo here it is collect your thing wicked man i can't be walking and then you come back and then you want to take the glory take your talent let's listen to what the master called him verse 26 the lord answered and said thou and thou wicked and lazy servant thou knewest that i reap where i sow not and gather where i have not sown what brought you into ministry since you knew that the glory belongs to me 
Oh God, give me talent. Give me church. God gave you two members. Now you are complaining. Who pursued you? Who put a gun and said enter ministry? Hallelujah. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers and then at my coming I would have received it with interest. Verse 28. Therefore, listen, this is what will happen to any man that is found unfaithful. It says, take therefore. It's not only the devil that takes from people. It's in your Bible. God can take away from unfaithful men and bless those who are faithful. Take therefore the talent from him and give it to him that has what? In other words, take from the one who is least faithful. Are you getting my point now? And give it to the one who has proven to be more faithful. Listen. All the three were servants. All the three were emojis. All the three were graduates. Right? But over time, the master kept studying their lives. And he found out that this faithfulness this formula that qualifies men to the next level they had it in different degrees so you can graduate we all graduated from so 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 and so department and then after three years you will find out that the other person probably the one you've been laughing at are you getting my point when i heard khadijat giving her testimony i just sat down and i said to myself oh god i can tell you in all sincerity and it's not because she's here while she was here she was faithful very faithful please sit down god bless you sis. hallelujah could this be what has been stopping you from entering the next level hallelujah and i'll make it very practical now so that you will understand I told you the blessings of God always come in levels no matter how anointed you are a lot of people have gotten into trouble for instance from all these these comings and all these these things that they do on internet you just go on internet and say you won 2.5 million dollars and you are foolishly smiling to yourself say don't tell anybody and you keep quiet You see that you just go around dreaming you see people shouting at you he says only a matter of time i'm coming the reason is because we do not understand the way the kingdom is built when you know how god blesses and lifts people at once you will know what is not of god is someone hearing what i'm saying now hallelujah somebody walks up to you sorry about the light i'm sure they are working on it hallelujah this is a good way to preach no distraction no looking at ladies you hear the word undiluted thank you jesus <laughs> let me use the opportunity and say what i have to say ah praise god sorry about the sound when god trusts you with small and you refuse to regard it and be faithful then you do not qualify to walk into the greater levels hallelujah i know there are many kingdom principles that can accelerate accelerate our blessings we have double portion we have sevenfold anointing huh we have the favor of god tapping into prophetic uh, uh, unction or fountain or whatever but let me tell you and listen I learned this in a very painful way look up please I want to talk to you never try to lift a man that God has not lifted you will be fighting God and you will be an enemy of God and he will curse you there are many of you you see certain people at the same position and you'll be like uh -uh. oh God but this sister is faithful God you said you should have blessed her and God is saying leave me alone 
I'm the one who sees the heart of men. Listen, if God does not lift anybody, leave them there. Are you getting what I'm saying? Many people have entered into a lot of casualties because they want to help certain people. You see a man of God and you say, after two years, your church is still five members. Abba, oh God boy, you are anointed. You are such a nice brother. You greet every sister that comes and God is saying, continue talking there. I know why I kept five people. Then you see another person who looks very scattered and suspicious and God blesses the person. I say, God, this thing, I think we need to coordinate this. God is saying, who is the Lord? Is somebody learning something tonight? Say faithfulness. Say it again, faithfulness. The blessings of God always come in levels. That means whatever level God gives you, the greatest way to prepare for the next level is not to be crying and fasting and say, Oh God, when will it come? When will that anointing come? When will they start putting water for? Come, come and carry this my water and bring. Oh yeah, now. Bring this my water. Some of you, when you saw them putting the water, you were just looking and say, Ah, when will my turn come? It will never come till you stop thinking about it. Hallelujah. When you see the people serving it, you just laugh. And in your mind, you're already wishing, Oh Lord, give me a church. Give me a ministry. End this my inferiority complex, Oh Lord. And God is just watching you. He said, you think the kingdom is a place of joke. See that? That's what, that's what some of us, you know, ah, yeah, the things that people think about in the house of God. As a hot message like this is going on, there are many people looking at so many things, being distracted at so many things. Hallelujah. Faithfulness. You came into a church and they say, okay, join the workers. Say, join which kind of workers? I was Bible study secretary in my, my, my local assembly. I even led the choir. You are now giving me chair to clean. God didn't send me that I would do that one. No. Give me something that is charismatic. Evangelism or prayer or something that will bring me out on the scene. Hallelujah. And then you will find out that you can be in that church with them. God trains you. At that season, he will build you. There is a season in your life where you can make mistakes and go scot free. God is building you. Are you getting my point? When you prove yourself to be faithful, one day God will come to you and say you have been faithful. You are always cleaning chairs. You are coming early. By two o'clock you come. Nobody knows you, but you are cleaning the chairs. And as you are cleaning the chairs, you are saying, oh Lord, I thank you. Those who will sit on these chairs will be blessed. Somebody may look at you and say, sister, if it's husband you want come for miracle service you know that's how people talk once they see commitment in the house of god they say the way this sister is walking i'm sure there's one brother that is i have must it be so or when a brother is doing something he says he's looking for pastor the way this guy is doing his pastor is looking for commit yourself to be faithful I've shared my testimony was it in 94 or so 94 95 hallelujah there used to be a man a church that started called power praise chapel the name of the man i don't know if the church is still there or if the man is still there emmanuel amechi ani i'll never forget his name they started the church in a hotel not too far from our house and they brought somebody that would teach me keyboard he was part of those who brought somebody so when the church started they said i should come and play keyboard when i came to the church no choir no nothing i would trek from my house with my own money and my own keyboard and take it to the church i've said it again they never gave me anything no thank you after service the only thing they gave me once was fanta and one cassette when the man did his launching one fanta bottle fanta and one cassette and i accepted it with gratitude in fact it was 
my father started getting concerned because i will go to our local church i will come back and then have to go and play keyboard for them and trek back home but god is my witness i never had cause to complain once listen if you are working in a place and your leaders are not good and you find yourself talking you are sowing a seed you will reap it for sure hallelujah there are people who will never walk in a place faithfully their job is to observe what is wrong why is this lady always looking towards where apostle sits and what is her business why are you taking it personal what is your own problem Shebi, you came to bless god too have, be, have you been noticing whatever says you are not the only one who have been noticing this thing rather than getting blessed listen listen rather than getting blessed you are just sitting down that's how they keep doing everywhere and you will see god lifting them higher and you will remain there and you keep getting angry because every time god comes there is a report card your faithful service hallelujah are you getting what i'm saying a sister can be faithfully sweeping the house of god and say lord i'm not doing this because i want a husband but i'm committed i'm faithful i will serve you whether they laugh at me or not i will do it and one day she's sweeping that's when god will position one brother him is coming to pray god will say turn left say lord what are you saying say turn left it's time for you to change levels and the sister is just sweeping her thing i'm serving the god of miracles i know yes i know and the naysayers and the backbiters are there watching all of a sudden you will see somebody you saw rise up to a dimension you cannot even look at them again faithfulness hallelujah come to sin i'll never forget she used to be the one leading worship before we started koinonia remember somebody will come for those of you who were there Binga. they will play the guitar and she will come and lead worship i will never forget one day i lashed them can you remember the day i lashed you seriously very seriously they were not serious with their work and i came that night from i came from the throne room with such an anointing and when i came you know it's not my fault jesus entered the temple when he saw what was going on in the temple say it's the zeal of the lord And that day i made sure that i told them before the meeting they must pray for one hour pray in tongues for one hour clean out every flesh that can corrupt what people need to hear god has honored her today i'm saying this when you see god lifting people in spite of your criticism keep quiet and find out what is being done that you are not doing bless you are you getting my point now say lord i receive grace to be faithful god gave you an anointing you can't heal any sick body but he gave you grace to preach you have refused to preach you don't do any evangelism see i'm tired of this evangelism that doesn't have power how about I, I let, let me shine too when i pray let the person fall how can i be frustrating myself i'm talking the guys agree with me i'm quoting a scripture he's responding back lay hands on the guy and let him wake up and know that there is a potential difference that's what you want and god is watching god is saying look at this is the level of grace that i gave you and this is what you are doing with it remain there until you learn the art of faithfulness that takes you to another level that's why overtaking is allowed in the spirit you can see a man will come and in one year he has entered some levels and you have been there for three years you get the same job in the same office other people are eyeing the boss shouting there and there this boss likes women the other one is saying lord i thank you for the privilege although they are paying me twenty thousand, i know it cannot do anything i thank you and i'll be faithful the other one is saying we wicked boss you give us twenty thousand. we are here walking you are using a phone of two hundred thousand. 
you are there grumbling and God is watching you hallelujah do you know God watches your works as you serve as you are faithful God gave you a little level when I started out I didn't start as anointed as this it would have been witchcraft if I started like this line upon line faithfulness I remember when we were very few those who were around one day we went for evangelism in Jamaa hospital we went there and invaded the place just went to preach and share the love of Christ you are not ready to start small some of you the way you start is true that God has called you in the ministry and you, you've seen the stadium you've seen yourself packing wheelchairs and you will never start small you want to start from the stadium one foolish boy brought a letter for me that they want to the spirit of God led them to hold one crusade what's the name of that place where they play golf on your way to huh? polo field I said polo field as if I don't know God you better go and settle down and start small they just came some boys said God gave us an instruction he said I saw it the other night. the way they were boiling as if they want to start praying I said calm down polo field God gave you a vision go to polo field see all this if you know the kingdom and you understand the structure not even visions will mislead you visions and revelations have made people to do stupid things the word of God that reveals the structure of the kingdom is surer than any dream you will have and any prophetic word you will be given. God will never, let me tell you, take a man who is not faithful and put him in a high position. It does not work like that. Hallelujah. It doesn't work like that. Say, I receive grace to be faithful. Say it, I receive grace to be faithful. There are many of you, I'm telling you, you would have left the level that you are now if only you were faithful. You've not been faithful with the anointing God gave you. You started business. God gave you 50,000. You are complaining and grumbling out of the profit of the 50,000. You bought clothes. You bought phone. You are shining. And you say, I'm a kingdom financier. God said, no way. You can sing songs about million. You can draw dollars on your pillow. You will never be a kingdom millionaire. But God trusts you with 50,000. And you say, Lord, out of this that you have given, your kingdom, your kingdom. And God says, you did this for me. And then God will test you. And say, lay down that Isaac. And you say, Lord, it's painful. But let it go. God will say, you qualify step into the next level hallelujah god made you a prayer coordinator of your small fellowship and you are faithful you are praying you are seven in the whole group but you are praying oh god bless these people may they find salvation they are walking in holiness they are walking in truth bless them bless their academics increase them there's nobody to tell you thank you nobody to tell you well done even when you know they are criticizing you when you know they are saying this Ogasa, this is your spirituality is too much you say lord bless them i still love them god says this looks like the kind of person i can bless are you hearing what i'm saying you are not faithful there are many people who will never be parents because they have not proven to be faithful children you insult every elderly person around you including your parents and now you want a husband you want a wife with your bad attitude so that you make your child become like what you are god said no way we are rehabilitating the young people in the earth you must change before i trust you are you are you getting what i'm sharing tonight it's a very serious message be faithful stop eyeing a high position somewhere be faithful be faithful hallelujah jesus started with a few disciples 
and then there were so many people then there was a crowd it didn't just start with a crowd financially God wants you to be a multi-millionaire and you just saw somebody <laughs> one of my friends called me very humorous person and he called me he said Josh in my presence somebody bought a Jaguar a new Jaguar 18 million tear rubber hi I said mm -mm, this is the devil here this is not vision this is the devil this kind of lost you see that your own God gave you a golf you are embarrassed <laughs> Especially when you see ladies. He said, come and push this golf out of here now. I see this not your own. This is what society has made us to become. And God is watching you. Yes, you have to open the door from outside, but give thanks. Lord, I give you thanks. It's better than a bicycle. I glorify you. I'm not ashamed of it. And you get up in the morning, you are cleaning it. When the tire is as if it's your child that is sick, you go and fix it. God is saying, You have this guy is faithful. Whenever there is anything in the house of God, you say, Well, don't laugh at my golf, it's available. If he cannot carry people, he can carry sound. Can you use it? And God says, Look at what this guy is doing. All of a sudden, somebody will walk somewhere and say, The Lord led me, aha, to bless you with another car. And he said, Lord, it has not changed my faithfulness and you take care of it god gave you a car in three months it has packed up you don't wash it you don't take care of the tire the cars the plugs are everything is jacking you say keep jacking you must keep moving till it dies and you leave it there unfaithfulness unfaithfulness as little as clothes god gives you clothes you don't wash them you don't iron them and you say lord you better bless me all these prophecies that they are giving god is saying what does it cost for me to bless you but you have not proven that you are faithful i receive grace to be faithful that's what i i tell god all the time this work this little work that god has given i i i take it that's why i take my job seriously every time you see me I, i'm in an attitude of seriousness not because there is any human being coming to supervise me i put a sense of urgency time to pray when i'm praying for you nobody disturbs me i shut up the place and i'm praying i say lord you have committed these people and it's my job to pray bless them even those who are not tightening let the tight of the house cover for them while they listen to the message you have not tightened for one year and the heavens are still opening over you let me tell you that this is these prayers that we are praying a day will come god will shift you out alone and then you say so this is how the heavens have been faithfulness god gave you the opportunity to play keyboard you don't rehearse you are not serious you are not improving yourself you are there angry with anybody who can see there are certain people because of our lack of faithfulness we never appreciate what gives what god gives us we always want more and we are always envious and angry at people rather than being faithful intimidated by people and we oh god i want this i want this and many of us get into all kinds of things that's what has made many men of god to get into witchcraft the truth is the honor they want to get is going to come how many of you know that all of us here will be blessed we are going to be blessed the millions will come a day will come the things you admire now see i used to think i like food is a lie i don't like food lack everybody say lack there is a there is a way luck can hit you it will create lust in you anything you see it must finish before you rest that's what was happening to me listen the things you admire about people that make you unfaithful with god if you can be faithful you will walk in it all these cars you see an average young man under pressure People lie everywhere. Say, ask them where are they walking. Say, I'm, I'm walking with one uh, 
uh, construction. What is the name? I say it's a construction company. I shot it Abuja and uh, Zaria. So what are you doing now? I came to solicit for another job. Is it true? It's a lie. What is pursuing you? Impatience and lack of faithfulness. Whereas you are working in a cafe. That's the construction company. You are working in a cafe and you are embarrassed by it. Whereas you would have been faithful. God has blessed me with a job. Don't say I'm managing. You are not managing. You are creating a report card that will bless you. Hallelujah. I'm in a cafe now. How much do you earn? I earn 5,000. Say you. What kind of, why are you falling your hand like this? No problem. Say if it's 5,000, let me give you your salary for this month. And people intimidate you. No problem. He should carry his money and keep showing everything. You just be faithful. Sister, till now, you cannot afford a withdrawal of one five. No problem. No problem. I can plant. I'm using my natural hair, but I love God and I'm faithful. I won't follow any man because of money. My God will give it to me. One of the miracles God did in my life is that I never, this craving, this craving for material things that you see somebody and say, Oh God, if you don't take me there, no. One day I went to buy suit. And somebody said, this is the fashion in town. I said, I don't know who are the day. I will buy what I want. Don't put any pressure on me. Who are the day? What fashion? Where? I buy what is good. I buy what I like. I pay for it. If I cannot pay for it, I go and wait patiently. Many of us, there are shops you cannot pass right now. You have eaten almost one quarter of everything there. Your money is not enough to buy it, but you must buy it. Every time you pass, I want black currant. How much? 600. How much do you have? 59. Just give me. Because we cannot be faithful at this level. Everybody say, I receive grace to be faithful. Refuse to be embarrassed at the level you are now serve god faithfully let men criticize you let men talk let them say you are looking for a name let them say you are looking for a husband or wife no problem be faithful the god who sees your faithfulness when he begins to reward you even you you can't stop it you have a ministry here god has committed two people be faithful pray for the two people pray teach them truth if you have 200 naira and they are hungry sacrifice it god is watching that was what happened to david everybody say david david for a few sheep brothers and sisters david went to the wilderness he risked his life to save a few sheep the brothers had thrown him down but god was watching him and Eliab and all the happening guys God was just watching them. When it was time for, for people to be blessed, Eliab came out, broad chested. God said, no way. These are not the kind of people. I'm not looking for warriors on the throne. I'm looking for faithful servants. You are in the worship team. They never gave you a song to back up. But that, I mean to, to lead. But when you stand here, huh, and you are faithful, you are singing from the depths of your heart. You don't just grumble and say, this coin on yourself, the way they do their things. Just a few people who are shining. Once you hear people complaining like that, the truth is, is they want themselves to be in that position. They will use a third party statement. They say, why is it that only a few decoration ladies are sitting in front? Once you hear people talk like that, they are not lawyers. They are not advocating for anybody. They are speaking for themselves. It's not like I'm speaking about myself or it's not me. <laughs> Who asked you? Say I receive grace to be faithful. God wants to increase us financially. But what have you done with the finances that God has given you? You keep wasting money around. Throwing money everywhere. Doing things that do not glorify God. And then you stand and believe that God is going to carry 1 billion or 10 million or 100 million and give to you. And then you see God bless someone else and you are like, ah, God. I receive.
receive grace to be faithful lord i thank you if it is to sweep the psalmist said i i rather be a doorkeeper a doorkeeper god is speaking to someone tonight i want to lift you up but you have not been found faithful you have not been found faithful the little anointing i gave you you have only been falling and rising you've not done anything with it hallelujah there are ministries who will never experience the prosperity of god not because they are not tithing but they are not faithful they are not faithful at all the members raise offering the men of god misuse the money they do anything they want to do with it the man of god is celebrating a birthday party and they they waste so much amount and the ministry is just starting they don't have that kind of money you see that and we put pressure we men of god put pressure on people make me the biggest cake thirty thousand. make me this and this is the money of the house of god you're using it and wasting it and god says no way you can't rise beyond this level but god commits resources to a house and he's seen the way the the finances of the lord's house are being used he's seen the faithfulness he's seen accountability god says you are ready to move higher who is god speaking to tonight you've been unfaithful god gave you one room you never cleaned it for once everywhere in the room is leaking including under the house you have never said let me call somebody to smell he says is it my property this bq is it my property and you want god to honor you you want god to bless you hallelujah your neighbor always picks you and brings you for koinonia you've never said let me contribute small foil two thousand naira you had the car making all kinds of noise you cannot be faithful god will never never it doesn't work that way who is god speaking to tonight many of us will need to pray tonight and say lord i repent i've not been faithful you want to rise higher uh -uh. you watch television and you see great people like david oyedeko and you see all of the crowds and all of the things and there are men who sit down just wishing and they dreaming wishing and they dreaming Say, let's calculate how much prophet offering will come to this man now. See what you are thinking. Say, ah, a man with this crowd, the money. You carry that anger and come back to your small fellowship, and you see four people, four committed people. Say, Didn't I tell you to bring five five people? Why have stand up? Why have you not brought five five people? You must bring five five people. Have you been faithful? The the five people are not learning anything for one year they cannot tell you one kingdom principle you've not made warriors out of them they don't pray they don't fast they don't grow they are not knowing the lord they lack intelligence and god is saying this is the same thing you will do if i give you 100 people there are many men of god who want crowd they don't study they don't pray you meet them all the time they are snoring snoring playing computer games watching football you think ministry is just an occupation and god looks at your heart and says no i can send you to go and assist i can send you to go and help but i will never send you to lead my work you are not faithful you are vulnerable he leads me and guides me to the city up above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny listen there were times i would prophesy and speak over people nothing will happen maybe in a crowd like this there may just be one testimony and i said i will be faithful if i cannot pray for the sick at least i can pray for the people and i know god will hear my prayer god saw my heart till today till tomorrow god knows that my desire for more anointing is never so that they will say joshua selman is a great man people say all kinds of things send all kinds of text messages and i thank god 
but God knows for the rest of my life I remain a servant serving the house of God forget about all of this little honor that comes this is if you want it the welfare the welfare can give you when you see all the protocol standing following me ah when koinonia started i used to climb bike machine during miracle service there will be crowd inside and outside you just see me coming on machine shape bless your people oh god change their story change their life and it was never an embarrassment it was the protocol department that decided they said kai please honor to whom honor is due this is over tomorrow now somebody will see me coming down from a jeep that god has blessed me with you will now be angry why are you angry i climb bike i enter taxi some of you are embarrassed to enter bus after service to go and say no let them not know that i didn't come with my car and you start explaining to everybody my car was faulty who asked you enter the bus and go home enter the bus and go home everybody knows you are still rising there is no revelation that will convince us you have gotten there we are all young people rising it's just that some are faster than others what's the embarrassment about somebody comes to your room and it's only gary you have you are hiding until the leather falls out of your wardrobe and you embarrass yourself bring it out and say this is what i have god is faithful the day you buy a recharge card lord i thank you i could afford a recharge card the day you buy a fridge see don't be embarrassed let men see you at your level now so that they will see the faithfulness of god great is thy faithfulness oh god my father there is no shadow of turning with thee thou changest not thy compassion they fail not as thou hast been thou forever will be great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness morning by morning you must sing it from your heart Some of you are even ashamed to introduce your parents to other people because your mother sells a car and your father is a carpenter and you are a fine lady you don't want to fall your hand that is foolishness of the highest order the person who played the fatherly role of jesus was a carpenter are you getting my point get this childishness out of your life there are some of you here the work that you do you wash clothes for people it's better than prostitution it's better than stealing lend dignity in labor be faithful there you're working and they're giving you 200 naira it's small but the 200 naira is with dignity there are many of you god gave you an idea you and somebody put a small joint for a car and you laughed you laughed at god like sarah he said god if you don't if you cannot bless me i can wait there are some of us here god told you i will take you far but start selling used clothes you said ha ah, god used clothes i have never worn a um these clothes that the one uh, what they call it hallelujah i only wear designers why will i now begin to sell used clothes oh lord you are falling my hands and god will say you never will qualify to rise to that level where you will be committed with the true riches of the kingdom some of you are you are not in any unit not in your church not in koinonia you don't serve you don't do anything your job and you've been coming here for a long time your job is to sit down watch others and complain about what is not done do you know that faithfulness faithfulness is how god blesses people hallelujah
someone can say me oh god i put it as a self-imposed work my my covenant with you is that every time i will be cleaning the pulpit i would lie us with decoration please give me the opportunity my job is to be cleaning the pulpit of the house of god nobody needs to know you see take what i'm saying seriously if you are interested in rising to the new level there is a level of death that must happen to you you must show god that you are not ashamed of your current level hallelujah there are people in the house of god faithfulness god gave you little blessings and they say let's kneel down in the presence of god you now lay down one hand as if as if you are asking your wife out to marry you kneel down before the presence of god and be serious the one who has kept your life all this nonsense people do in the house of god i tell you papa adeboye till today he travels around the world what's that thing that they play tambourine right he carries his tambourine among the the world's hundred most influential people it has not changed him he takes his tambourine whenever he goes to a place no matter who you are he will get down on his knees and start singing to the one who took him from where he was and brought him here i choose to be faithful i will never allow anything stop me from rising to the new level that's why you can listen to a man it's not like he has so much rema or he has so much but he will just say may god increase you and the door will open because of faithfulness and some people will come on on stage and shout as if they are forwarding a tape and nothing happens to anybody this is the place of the anointing you will find the anointing in the place of faithfulness this morning i was just worshiping and i said lord will you bless your people worship was just playing early in the morning and i was crying tears were coming out i said lord there are people coming tonight with burdens there are people coming trusting god a lady came in from just i'm sure she's around this lady took a step of faith nobody no place to stay she just came in she said i'm tired of what is happening in my life how could i come and stand on the stage and then begin to make all kinds of noise that's why we pray that's why i take this work that god has given because i know that before i was born god has been blessing people and if i'm not serious he will get me out of the stage and you see let me tell you dr paul and Encher said it is god who will use the calabash to fetch water so that he will disgrace the pot when the pot thinks i'm the only one god will use calabash with holes inside and still fetch water never find yourself thinking god cannot do without you that is a big deception oh god can do without joshua selman god forbid if i die today ah yes you'll cry for one week you say why did he die you go and listen to all my messages that i say i wouldn't die say till he has died after one week case closed you will fight yourselves looking for who to lead here and by the time you finish the fight something <laughs> ah thank you for this deliverance oh lord i have no business in all of this nonsense my desire is to serve you my one desire is that you be praised is that you be praised i tell you that's that's my desire that you be praised and i will be faithful in doing this my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised You want the anointing be faithful you want greater levels be faithful where you are right now whatever department you are working be faithful stop complaining stop finding fault contribute your quota and god who sees what you are doing god gave us a word that is lifting us and that means he's calling on us to be faithful one of these days god is going to be moving across this congregation 
checking the report cards of men let me see your prayer life did you pray for the house where nobody saw you were you worshiping in spirit and in truth hallelujah i told him lord whatever will change my faithfulness in service whatever will make me to stop seeking the blessings of your people and start looking to build an empire for myself so that you say this is joshua selman and all the great works he has done oh may it be far from me if there is any prayer you will pray for me don't pray that god should give me money don't, don't pray all those things they will come naturally pray and say lord give him focus never to be distracted by all these things that cause great men to fall ministry you want this you want branches oh 26 branches the man of god now has a television ah ah my one desire is that you be praised is that you be praised is that you be praised god is talking because there are lots of young people rising with anointing and grace but you need a lot of guidance and grace otherwise you will just run with zeal without knowledge and you will crash land very badly stop mentoring the lives of wrong people who teach you that grace is grace of god is working in your life all of a sudden in two months your church grows to fifty thousand people is witchcraft god doesn't build people that way are you getting what i'm saying hear a little god will trust you with little be faithful when you are faithful with the little he trusts you he will take you higher and then leave you at that realm then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you become arrogant then you remain in that level you add another arrogance you go down small then it reminds you that god can do without you then you repent and then you rise higher that's how people keep moving up and down as if they are playing computer game but once you maintain a life of humility that's how the, your path will be as a shining light men will just keep seeing you rising because god will say the way you love me bless you that's why sometimes i worship him in your presence so that you can see that you should never get in to get to any level where you become too big some of us what we need to repent of tonight is big manism when you come to the presence of god pack whoever and whatever you have i love i love i love your presence I love, I love, I love your truth. I love, I love, I love your presence. I love, I love, I love your truth if only headache is being healed now be faithful the day god gives you an opportunity to pray for someone's head pray for the head don't go and try and just get up god didn't lead you you go and tell somebody in the name of jesus you are seeing the person no legs you say legs grow you disgrace yourself and scatter what god has been trying to do god is trying to announce you slowly you now went and cancelled it because of pride or impatience right too dangerous or two enemies of faithfulness very quickly and i'll round up number one is pride pride makes us not to be faithful at the level that we are in pride obadiah 1 verse 3 i saw a scripture that blew me i'll round up right now obadiah 1 verse 3 kaba shata baladaba is god challenging someone tonight obadiah 1 verse 3 everybody read 
the pride of thy heart has deceived thee thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock whose habitation is high that saith in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground your pride has deceived you so that when god has given you grace for saria pride has made you believe that you are supposed to be in a television ministry pride stops men from being faithful there are many churches in all kinds of death now going to television ministry that they have no business going to god has not anointed them to that level yet see if god does not send you you can still move but the question is life will ask you who is sending you many of us pride pride the humility to remain at the level that you are in where are you walking ah uh, i shuttle between zaria abuja and just what's wrong with saying god is helping me i've started and i'm in zaria i'm doing something god is faithful don't say i'm managing don't use that language what you call managing is the prayer request of somebody else we are managing with all these people while i'm working on another white collar job it is in that place of managing you will meet your miracle that will take you to another level so you refuse to be faithful because you think you are managing how much are they paying me in this primary school i'm teaching primary one to primary six you are teaching them much you are not faithful like david in the wilderness if you are faithful one day god can give you your own business empire and you sit down and say i once was a school teacher hallelujah a young man met me one time i looked at him i said how are you sir he said fine the way he was saying fine as if he was going to push me he was going to introduce himself i'm so so person i deal with oil and gas specifically offshore you know i have the company and i'm doing this and that and that and the xyz said i should meet you for xyz and all kinds of stories and then i was just looking at him and after he made all those noise you see if you are blessed you are blessed even if you are blessed and you choose to wear slippers you are still blessed if you are not blessed you are not blessed even if you choose to borrow a car you are still it's not your own after making all of that noise and jargon i was just looking at this brother why put yourself under pressure if you see the kind of cards that he printed war suit pencil tie oil and gas say so i receive grace to be faithful at the level that god has has brought me receive grace oga jordan please stand up come i know when oga listen let me tell you something i'm sorry if i pry a bit into your private life how many of you know life way for many years jordan worked with them and served faithfully many years while he was learning faithfully god was looking he never knew that one day he will have his own bookstore are you getting my point but he was faithful i will never forget when god blessed him his his shop was so small it was like a console room a few books here and there but god is lifting him the last time i spoke with him he's already making negotiations to begin to bring books directly from outside the country this is what faithfulness can bring there are people who have been binding demons for years and nothing has happened because of their arrogance listen say in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful with what god has given me and at the level he has placed me say it again in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful the clothes you cannot afford now be patient are you hearing what i'm saying the hair you cannot buy now be patient brothers the shoe you cannot buy now 
the dress you cannot buy now be patient that's the second reason why people the second enemy of faithfulness impatience I always preach and I say impatience has cheated many people many of our parents are in debt of billions of naira today because they tried to build a house that their colleagues were building that your financial level has not reached foundation enough at 50 million it would have built an estate a comfortable estate in a place i must go to gra i must go to my tama i must build in lekki whereas god gave you wisdom one small place outside the town six million would have comfortably built a house that you would have been renting you've carried many families are suffering today because of the ego of our parents pride made them to go and enter a deal that their finance cannot take sold the car sold the house sold the property sold everything because of impatience everybody say i receive grace to be patient say it i receive grace to be patient especially those of you in business say i receive grace to be patient there's no hurry be patient a prophecy has already gone ahead that you will be blessed be patient be patient do you know what patience can do in your life the bible says follow them who through faith and patience you are in ministry be patient say i will be patient say it again i will be patient stop getting up and your body is just shaking i want to organize program i want to organize program your body is just shaking you don't have the money i want to organize program and in that program i want to invite benny Hinn. i want to invite paul Enenche. i want to invite papa you god is leading you and say invite one brother in your fellowship that god is helping he say, ah, which kind of brother i want the one that the, the posters very funny things people do there are ministries that run themselves down trying to invite men of god that they do not have the financial capacity and the organizational capacity to host them they just want a name i brought abc i brought xyz now you go and bring a man from london matthew ashimolo in your small church of 100 people and now the whole bill and everything for bringing the man and hosting the man is five or ten million and you are there sweating praying prayers you should not have prayed you would have quietly gone to lagos or come down to zaria or anywhere and find brothers and sisters who god is helping say i receive grace to be patient rise gradually i believe in faith i am a man of faith but faith is not foolishness are you getting me you rise from faith to faith you rise from stage to stage there are some of us right now you are in level one some you are in level two some god has blessed you are in level five be patient in the ark of noah the cheetah the fastest animal entered there the snail also got there it's a matter of time wherever god has not taken me i don't want any man to take me there are times i have consciously refused certain levels of exposure because i know in my spirit that the season for that dimension of exposure has not come and although there is room to go by the time you go you will die that's why a man of god can leave one geography go to another place and start failing and you are wondering is this not the anointed man you used to know hallelujah i will go i will go anywhere you lead me i will go rise up on your feet two prayer points and we're out of this place i don't just want to sound what god is saying just like i'm just making noise hallelujah all those who are worshiping with us for the first time i want you to come out i want to lay my hands on you the lord is leading me to do this 
all those worshiping with us for the first time i want you to just come out and stand here i want to lay my hands and prophesy upon your life please very quickly we're out of time everyone if this is your first time of coming just come and line up here hallelujah i want to lay my hands and prophesy the blessing of the lord upon you god is able to do just what he says he will do he's got a fulfill every promise to you don't give up on god cause he will give up on you say hallelujah i want to thank all of you for coming hallelujah the lord bless you we honor you we celebrate you now listen when i lay my hands on you as soon as i lay my hands on you i just want you to go out there is a committee that will meet with you hallelujah they will meet with you and just greet you warmly ideally i'm just supposed to call you pray and just bless you but the lord is leading me to lay my hands on you hallelujah i like you to be praying and as i lay my hands on you just a touch i want you to believe god whatever it is that you came here trusting God for. I want you to believe. As I lay my hands on you, for many of you, doors will be opened supernaturally. I want you to desire it. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Everyone in the congregation, stretch your hands. I will be very fast, very fast, just a touch. When I lay my hands on you, just follow the other people outside. Thank you, Father. Bless them, oh God. Bless them, I anoint you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I, I anoint you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I anoint you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint you in the name of Jesus. I anoint you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint you. Receive the anointing. Receive breakthrough in every area of your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive breakthrough. Let the hand of God be strong upon you. May the grace of God be at work in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I rebuke every spirit, every power of darkness that wants to destroy your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be free from any assault of darkness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you and I take authority over everything that is not of God in your life. Return with dramatic testimonies by the power of the Holy Spirit. Whatever is not working in your life, I command it to work now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that the heavens are open towards you. The heavens are open over you. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the hand of the mighty God, the heavens are open towards you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, enjoy unlimited grace. Enjoy open doors by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the mighty name of Jesus, may the hand of God come strong upon your life. May He anoint you mightily. In the name of Jesus, may the grace of God speak in your life. Rise from one level of grace to another. In the name of Jesus, be blessed. You are blessed by the power of the Almighty. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Two prayer points. Prayer point number one. Oh God, take away pride and impatience from my life lift your voice and pray take away pride 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 and impatience please pray it lord take away pride pride that stops me from being faithful at the level you have placed me i take away that pride by the power of the holy ghost pray I pray I receive grace to stay at the level God has placed me I receive grace to be faithful I receive grace to be faithful faithful to God faithful to man faithful in the house of God pray I receive humility in the name of Jesus I refuse a fake life. I remain faithful and God will honor me and bring
bring me to a place of prominence it won't be long because my faithfulness is my report card that will qualify me to experience greater levels of grace now pray against impatience I receive patience in my life patience to move gradually patience to move one step at a time I'm not in a hurry I'm not in a hurry to be rich I'm not in a hurry to be influential I take my time I go through the school of the spirit I remain properly trained properly trained to be used by God I am well equipped I move from one level to the other hallelujah 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 this prayer point is for those of us who have been faithful at the current level if you truly know under God that you have been faithful doing what you are doing in your business in your academics in your marriage in your life in the house of God towards God don't try to pray for eight hours every day start with 30 minutes or one hour be faithful don't bring all those religious expectations that make you feel you are getting spiritual you pray eight hours today the next time you pray again is after four months when you have one terrible nightmare you are cheating yourself you if you pray 15 minutes in tongues every day faithfully for three months you will grow better than somebody who prays 10 hours today never to visit the throne room again it's about consistency and faithfulness then grace is poured upon you and you can now move higher don't try to read 100 chapters of the bible for now you buy devotionals buy a devotional and use you do not yet have the level of spiritual intelligence for some of you where you can navigate the world on your own be humble use the devotional let it help you when you become grown in the world you can now begin to explore you are not using the devotional and you are not praying hallelujah for those of you who have been faithful i like you to pray and say lord i connect to the anointing for the next level lift your voice and pray if you truly know that you have been faithful lift your voice and pray i receive grace oh god according to your word higher dimensions of prosperity higher dimensions of the anointing higher dimensions of influence pray for yourself hallelujah hallelujah before i make the altar call let me advise you if you are not committed anywhere in the house of god whether in your church or in koinonia here or in your fellowships or you are cheating yourself there are certain levels of service or certain levels of lifting that only service can bring you can enter your marital destiny cheaply through service in the house of god you can enter certain levels of the anointing cheaply you can enter a level of financial prowess sometimes i teach the leaders most times i teach the leaders on finances and these are things that they receive free because they are faithful working in the house of god during the retreat the workers retreat we have the opportunity to lay hands on all the workers there are benefits and spiritual privileges you will never compare yourself with someone who is faithfully serving in the house of god and for those of you who are serving either in koinonia or in your churches if you don't desire to serve leave don't be in a place a department or a unit in your church you are grumbling about everybody you are gossiping about everybody you are fighting about everybody leave leave never find yourself doing that don't find yourself opening your mouth gossiping and castigating 
your pastor or the man of God that God has placed over you you, you are bringing a curse upon yourself there is a there is the all-seeing eye of the Almighty God and whoever is not faithful with what God has given him God himself will judge your job is to be faithful the Bible says it is required of a steward that he be found faithful hallelujah praise the Lord those of us who are giving our lives to Christ there are people here who are saying man of God I want to rededicate my life to Jesus or I've never given my life to Christ and this is the beginning of the faithfulness I preached a message in just last week called the matrimony of love if you can get that message it will bless you four hours it's a powerful message teaching on how marriage describes our relationship between God and how that God desires the church to be like a faithful bride hallelujah when if you lay your hands on it get it it will bless you but right now there are people inside and outside the Lord Jesus is speaking to you right now and he's telling you it's time please everybody rise we're rounding up we want to give those people an opportunity you've never given your heart to the Lord or you have given your heart to the Lord but you found out that you've not been faithful you've not been faithful you've been walking in ways that are not of God and you're saying Lord I'm sorry I want to make my ways right I invite you right now please come out please celebrate them as they come don't wait for anybody the Lord is speaking to you that you need to make your ways right with God hallelujah inside or outside please clear the way for them if there are people like that please make sure you don't sit back it is always our duty God bless you God bless you thank you it's always our duty to make sure that we make altar calls God bless you if you are still staying in the crowd God is calling you if you hear the voice of God tonight leave your seat and come out and say Lord I want to be faithful I'm ready to commit my life I'm ready to commit my ways I'm ready to start afresh with Jesus Christ hallelujah keep coming hallelujah now those of you in front very quickly we're out of time I celebrate you and I thank you for the courage lift your right hand as I leave there's one of you here you smoke you smoke all kinds of things God is warning you the power of those that addiction will leave you once and for all hallelujah lift your right hand please from the depths of your heart you are not just repeating after me you are talking to the Lord say Lord Jesus I come before you unable to help myself I ask you tonight show me your mercy show me your grace help me save me cleanse me from all unrighteousness tonight I declare that I'm for Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit and I make up my mind by the grace of God to live for Jesus from today and for the rest of my life Satan I have no business with you I am for Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ now let me pray for you father preserve these ones you brought them out bless them preserve them by the power of your spirit may they enjoy sweet fellowship with the Holy Spirit I break habits I break addictions I cast out devils and every wicked spirit that is responsible for jeopardizing your Christian experience and I pray that your 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 altar call will be genuine and you will last may you rise from glory to glory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you for making this decision please rise up and just dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God our man of God Apostle Joshua Salmon and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget 
to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye